the greatest show on earth, the evidence for evolution. What is the greatest show on earth? Well, it's life. The whole diversity of life, the complexity of life, the beauty of life, the sheer number of species that are all doing their own thing in their own way. How has it come about? By evolution, evolution by natural selection. The book is about the evidence for evolution. How do we know it's a fact? My previous books have all been about evolution, but not the evidence for it. They've just assumed that evolution is true. Why is this book necessary? It's necessary because, for example, in the United States, some 40% of the population doesn't believe in evolution, believes that the world was created within the last 10,000 years. That's an educational disgrace, and those people, the majority of them, couldn't possibly believe that if only they were exposed to the evidence. The purpose of my book, The Greatest Show on Earth, is to expose people to the evidence. We go through the sort of evidence that Darwin knew about from domestication. Dogs and cabbages, pigs and cows have all been changed in huge ways in a very short time, maybe a couple of centuries, maybe a couple of millennia. If that much change can be achieved in a couple of centuries or millennia, just think what could be achieved in 10 million years or 100 million years. That's the sort of time scale we have to play with in real evolution. How do we know that? We know it from radioactive dating and other kinds of dating systems. The book has a chapter on how we know how old fossils are. Fossils are not the most important evidence for evolution, although they are very persuasive. There's even more persuasive evidence from molecular comparisons of modern animals, from the geographical distribution of modern animals. The animals are just where you'd expect them to be if evolution had happened. Their relationships of the molecules, the genetic molecules in them, are exactly what you'd expect if evolution were true. Everything that we see in the world today is exactly what we would expect if evolution were true. The book uses the metaphor of a detective coming on the scene of a crime after it's happened. He can't see the crime, but he knows from looking at all the clues that remain that so-and-so did it. It's like that with scientists and evolution. We can't see evolution happening because we don't live long enough. But we look at the clues that remain and they all overwhelmingly point to the same conclusion. Evolution is a fact.